anaitwa Alphonse Jaukirika mimi ni mkulima kutoka Kiabu County e, na lima ngombe wa maziwa alafu pia miko na kazi ya biogas mi ni biogas technician mi utengeneza biogas kama nilivyowaambia sasa nataka niwaonyeshe mpangilio wa vile hii biogas ufanya kazi sasa hii biogas on my right hand side ukiangalia hivi utaona kuna mtaro ambayo kinyesi hupitia from the uh, cow shed ikitoka huko na ile maji inaosha huko ndani yote inakuja to the first chamber inakuja hapa ndio inaanza fermentation process ndio ukiangalia vizuri you can see some bubbles this is results of showing that it is active it's not dormant it has started sticking fermentation process whereby when we come here to chota this is a combination of um, cow dung and the urine na ile maji yote ambayo inaosha pale kwa kwa cow shed ikifika hapa i use this uh, bucket to fetch to fetch kuchota na ichota hapa hivi yote na kuja na ingia hapa kwa biogas sasa ukumbuke kwamba it has already started taking place so i want to come and put it to the input ama the mixing chamber hapa niko na the first chamber kwa biogas this chamber hapa ndio i mix the cow dung the solid and the liquid hii maji inakuja na nashanganya hapa nikichanganya hapa i have the i have to start kukoroga ndio nivunja vunje this cow dung ishikane na ile maji nimemwaga hapa that is the cow urine and the water na koroga na koroga to make it fine and at the same time i check whether kuna majani any object which can block the process because after doing this nikikoroga niona iko very fine nitafungua kuna kifuniko iko hapo chini nitafungua nikitumia hii kijiti so that it will allow the solution to go to the digester this is what i'm calling the digester the digester is underground here 10 feet under where we are stepping on we are stepping on a doom the doom is also stepping on the digester so tukikoroga hivi let me koroga kidogo ndio ishikane kabisa so that nikiifungulia it will be able to flow down you can see the bubbles as i told you easy bubbles ndio zinaenda kutengeneza gas I think now it is a bit smooth. Now I want to open. As you can see I'm trying to find the the cover. I'll remove the cover. This is the cover. You can see the solution is going down. Mnaona inaenda chini? Sasa ina mezoa, inaenda kwa digester. Hapa iko mfereji. Look at what I'm going to do. Hiyo mfereji ndio inapeleka the bio slurry to the digester. Now when it comes to the mixing sheba we don't call it cow dung or what we call it the bio slurry the bio slurry is the one which is going to produce the gas so to kiingia hapa ndani inaingia kwa digester ikiingia kwa digester hapa chini hapa this is where the fermentation takes place hapa huwa kuna vita sababu sasa there is no air inside and the solution has gone inside and the fermentation is very high So when the fermentation is taking place it produces the sulfur. Sulfur ikitoka from green methanol ndio tunatolea hapa hivi inaenda mpaka kwa kitchen, ingine inaenda kufanya chafu kata na ingine inaenda kutumia kwa bathroom. Then from here this is the digester and the doom. This is the second sheba. Then we have the third sheba and the final one. This is one we call the expansion sheba. This is where This is the final process after the fermentation has taken place now the inoculant after producing the gas it produces something called inoculant inoculant ni kama ile maganda maganda ambayo imefinywa imetoa gas yote inatupwa inakuja hapa ikishatupwa hapa this is the final stage from there mimi hapa kuna kachemba nimetengeneza yangu hapa ndio natengeneza tena na ifinya tena to produce the organic manure if you look at this thing Uh, first of all you see I'm using an iron sheet. Hii mabati ni ya, kuja, ni ya kusaidia kuchoma, kuongeza joto ndio iweze kukauka. Sababu hapa inakuja ikiwa very wet I have to make it dry. Ndio nakausha na hii mabati 
Ekikauka, you can note the difference. After it passes here, it comes to this. Now this, sasa hii, this is the best farming manure. Hidi or the best. Sababu, all the microorganisms and any seeds or anything which is life, ikitokea kwa digester after undergoing all that process in Auliwa, it cannot survive. Because if you remember, I told you, it's an aerobic kind of fermentation. There is no oxygen inside that digester. So hata ukitupa begu ya mahindi weke pale, ama begu ya mdudu, ama ya minyo or anything, ingia ukondani, ikitokea hapa, imemalizwa. It cannot survive. So, when you fetch this, uh, this manure, or when you dry it, like I'll show you where I dry it there, ikikauka kabisa, it is the best for farming. It is the best because all the microorganisms were made kwa digester. So, ikitoka hapa, inapitia hapa. Eh, kuna shimo ingine imepitia hapa. Hii shimo ikipitia hapa, when it is full, this is the overflow. Inapitia hapo, inakuja, inakuja, inapitia hapa. Inakuja hapa. That is why, unaona hapa wezi kuona mududu yeyote. You cannot find anything surviving here. Unless it comes after hii kitu imekuja hapa. But everything is killed. Hata ukishika hii bolea hivi. Uangalia hivi. Hata ujaribu kunukia. Haina any smell. Everything has been purified. And this is the best for farming. Hii di onatumia kupanda kitchen garden. It's organic. Ukiona hizi vitu there is no fertilizer. It is organic. That's why we are encouraging farmers to use biogas. So that they can get organic manure. Vio nasikia serikali nasema we should not use borea ya ngombe direct kutoka kwa ngo. You have to use biogas. Biogas is the best. Sasa nataka kuwaonyesha jinsi ya mabavyo nafanya na biogas hapa nyumbani kwangu. Eh, hapa diyo sasa the main switch ya biogas. Mahali ambapo nafungulia biogas from the digester. Inakuja, inapitia hapa. Diyo inaenda, inaserve the chaff cutter. Sasa hii chaff cutter, it's operated by biogas. It doesn't use electricity or petrol. It uses biogas. Now I want to start the, the machine so that we start cutting the, the napier. We give it time to warm up. Maybe one or two minutes. Now it's using that gas direct. That's something to end up on the
nimewaelezea sasa paipu yangu ikitoka huko kwa ngombe hiyo ingine nimepitisha hapa hivi imekuja nimeingiza kwa kitchen ikiingia kitchen as you can see the piping sasa hapo ndio nimegawanya gas ya kitchen na gas ya bathroom sasa nataka tuende kwa kitchen tuone vile inakuja kufanya kitchen okay sasa hii ndio kitchen niliwaambia gas ikitoka huko inakuanga na a lot of sulfur so ikitoka huko inakuja kwanza inaingia hapa we call this desulfurizer unit this is the one which purify the gas in order to finish the sulfur sasa sulfur inaoshwa hapa ndani inamalizwa sulfur then from there inapimwa it has an inbuilt gauge hii gauge inanyonyesha ile pressure inatoka kwa digester like now we can see it is 4 When it is 4 we multiply by 10 kilopascals. Now we have 40 kilos of gas, kilograms of gas. Ile inatumika ina, ina flow size kuingia kwa kwa the burners. So, ikiingia hapa ikioshwa inatoka ndio inakuja kwa burner. This is the burner. A special biogas burner. It's not like the other burners for gas, the normal gas. Hii ni special burner. Sasa ikiingia hapa ndio inakuja ina inapika. It is automatic ignited. Sasa tumefika tume, upande ya bathroom. Hii bado tu ni biogas. Hakuna stima. There is no instant showers. We are using now this unit. We import these things from China. This unit is the one which is helping me to boil the water. Hii ni bathroom water heater shower. So, you can see this is the one you use when you are showering or even insert it here like this so that you shower all the body. Lakini kitu The best of it haitumi stima ama nini. Sasa nataka kuhakikisha vile tunahakishanga hii hita. Aya, unakuja hivi you just because of the water pressure. My water pressure is not very good. So I insert this down like this. Then I switch it. I, 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 I open the water like this. You see? Then I open the gas. After I open the gas, I insert like that. Then I add the, the volume, the pressure. Then within a second the water is hot. You can now shower. The water is very hot. You can now start showering using this thing. You see? The water is hot. Mm. Kubuka tu hii ni biogas. Hakuna stima biogas. You see? Yeah, we have the the controllers here. These are the knobs to control. You can see the water is becoming hot. It is now very hot. You have to reduce the You have to reduce. So that in enda ikipoa ikipoa now it is okay. Yeah, you can have a shower with this. If you want a hot water, unapeleka hii mwisho. There are things things to adjust. You can see it's hot. So you slash the power bill. Hakuna bill hapa, hakuna stima, unatumia biogas. Eh sasa kwa majina, mimi naitwa Bwana Alphonse Njao Kirika. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa hapa, mahali naitwa Kanunga. Kanunga iko kwa Kiambu County. Mimi ni mkulima, nimeonyesha vile nalima, lakini sana sana mimi ufanya kazi ya biogas. Eh, hii kazi ya biogas nilianza miaka kama miaka miaka kumi 10 years back nikutana na mzungu mmoja nikiwa kwa kazi yangu nilikuwa nikifanya kazi ya guiding ama tour guide nikiwa na mzungu mmoja huko alikuwa ametoka Netherlands tukakutana walikuwa wamekuja Masai Mara for for a safari to see the migration of wild beast so nikakuwa niko na wao kwa safari ya siku sita Nao tukiwa kwa hizo masafari za siku sita tuliweza kuongea wewe unafanya nini kwenu what do you do sasa when we interacted with each other eh, manake hawezi kaa na mtu for more than three days na msikue umefanya ulafiki sasa nikafanya ulafiki na yeye tukaongea nikamuuliza what do you do back home in Netherlands ndio akaniambia anafanya kazi inaitwa uh, biomethano gas na mimi namshukuru sana bwana Graham anaitwa bwana Graham sababu yeye ndiye aliniingiza kwa hii mambo ya biogas na Mungu ni mwema akanisaidia na nikaweza kusoma hii maneno cause alinisaidia sana huyo mzungu alinipatia email ya group yao iko Tanzania walikuwa Arusha by that time 
So akanipatia email nikaongea na wao wakiwa Arusha wakaniambia if I'm interested they can show me how to to, to learn and they train me how to make the biogas. So mimi sikukufa moyo niliendelea tu na nikashikana na vile nilielezewa na ujama nikaenda mpaka Arusha. I stayed there for six months walikuwa na train mambo ya kujenga digester, kujenga doom, kufanya pipings kufanya mixing of biogas tulikuwa tunafanya kazi sana nyingi huko huko nilikuwa mwanafunzi nikafunzwa nikafunzwa kwa muda wa six months sasa nilipoenda Mungu ni mwema mimi kichwa yangu mimi ushika mambo haraka sana nikaweza kusoma kwa haraka na nikashika so nilipopata malipo ya biogas ndio nikarejea hapa nchini nikaanza kufanyia wakulima nikuja nikaanza na yangu nikajengea my parents then my neighbors hapa nimewawekea and uh, kutoka hapo nikaanza sasa kuwa na naitwa naitwa na wakulima naenda kuwajengea biogas naonyesha jinsi vile mtu anafaa kutengeneza biogas kwanza vile zero grazing unafaa u construct mahali wa supposed to install ina ina level mahali utaweza kutoa ndio upeleke kwa nyumba so kutoka hapo ndio sasa nikasoma mambo mengine after that they have been calling me for seminars Uh, we have been chatting with them kama kuna mambo any new things wananiitia sasa hapo ndio nienda nikasoma mambo ya vile biogas niweza saidia kutumia chafkata ndio nikakuja nika nikaona vile walifanya huko although they were using a different engine not the same as the one i'm using nikakuja nikajua i can do my own innovation ndio nikaanza kutafuta nikatafuta ka engine kangu ya 5 liter power engine nikakuja nika mount alafu nikaweka pule za kuzungusha the chafu kata wheel nika raini nikaanza kugurumisha nikaona inaweza run chafu kata instead of using the uh, the normal electricity motor nikatumia ile ya petrol sasa hapo kwa ile ya petrol ndio nimetumia maarifa yangu kabisa nikajua hii kitu the pistons can uh, can run using the gas like a hybrid engine instead of using the the petrol ndio ikaanza kutumia gas sasa hapo I've done my innovation nimefanya ukarabati yangu hapo nikadaganya hii engine ati inatumia petrol ikatumia hewa sasa hapo ni hewa inakunywa the hewa ya gas now from there inaguruma without any smoke in a run very fast even more than the petrol engine because for a pickup full of napier glass it can be chopped within a duration of 75 minutes so you can see how fast it is na sasa kutoka hapo ndio nikaona from there imenisaidia sana. Nikakata mambo ya stima kwa mangombe, nikasema nitakuwa nikitumia biogas. Then from there I have like four years without using the the steamer or the, the electricity to run the chafkata. I've been using biogas. You can imagine cow dung, it's the one which is running the machine. When the cow eats the, the chopped napier, when it excrete Natumia hiyo kinyezi, kinyezi nafanya biogas, hiyo biogas inazungusha machine. On top of that ikimaliza hiyo kasi naenda kitchen. Kitchen inaenda inatumia napika kitchen. Gas ya kupika nyumbani kwangu for over seven years mimi natumia gas. I don't use the biogas. I don't use the LPG gas for the past seven years. So, then from there from the kitchen naenda tu bado naitumia kwa bathroom bathroom natumia hot shower instead of instant showers and this is when i came to note nili note kwamba hiyo instant shower inatumianga stima nyingi sana because wakati unataka maji kuwe very hot ukiangalia kwa mita ya stima when the water is hot the meter runs very fast and that is when you are enjoying the the, 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 the hot shower lakini saa ile unatumia ya biogas you i zerate the cost of the biogas So your biogas imenisaidia sana I can say that. The construction takes just seven working days then we give it like 10 days the curing period then after 10 days we top it up with the the biosolar then we give it like 72 hours we light up the gas. So you can see within a span of 21 days to kianza like today you count 21 days utakuwa uko na moto. And this is why we say we go green we use green energy hii haina madhara hii haiwezi lipuka gas hata hiyo pipe ikikatika it's not oxygen friendly ikipatana tu na oxygen inapoa hata ukipitia hapo you are, when you are smoking on a naked uh, pipe it cannot explode because it does not have petrol in itself 